right guys today we are on lesson 20 lesson 20 so check out the table of contents we can see that uh, we're moving on to adding and subtracting fractions uh, lesson 20 understanding of fraction addition and subtraction and this is on page 26 all right so let's read our directions for number one label the number line and use it to show three-fourths plus three-fourths so anytime I have number lines, I'm gonna go. I, I like to go ahead and just uh, fill in all the the blanks. All right. So we start out at zero fourths. We have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, which is really one whole. Anytime you have the same numerator and same denominator, it's always equal to one whole. Five fourths, six fourths and seven fourths all right and then we want to add three fourths so one two three fourths plus three fourths one two three fourths uh, so six fourths would be our correct sum um, another way you can do it is uh, just by simple addition, your denominators always stay the same when adding when adding fractions, and you add your numerators. Three plus three will give me six. All right, guys, next set of directions. Shade the area model to show three-fourths plus three-fourths. All right, let's go ahead and shade in one, two, three. Remember, guys, this is an art class. You should be able to shade these in in a matter of a few seconds two three all right your denominators always stay the same and then add up your total one two three four five six six fourths six parts are shaded in so you guys write the sum which we've already done a few times four is your denominator and six is your numerator one last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a mixed number. So right now we have it in an improper fraction. I'm going to go ahead and decompose. Decompose 6 fourths. I'm going to pull out 4 fourths. And I have 2 fourths left over. So 4 fourths plus 2 fourths will give me 6 fourths. Alright, I know 4 fourths is 1 whole plus 2 fourths. We now have a mixed number. 1 and two fourths. All right, let's head on to number two. Label label the number line and use it to show ten eighths minus four eighths. So the first way to do it, uh, easiest way and the quickest way, um, you know, when adding or subtracting fractions, your denominator always stays the same, and you look at your numerators. Ten minus four will give me a difference of six. 6 eighths is going to be your difference. All right, so let's go ahead and show it on the number line. Um, like I say, I always like to go ahead and fill in my, my whole number line here. Um, we know our denominator is 8, so every one of these is going to be in split into 8. So 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, eight eighths or one whole because the same numerator over the denominator is always equal to one whole um, nine eighths ten eighths all right so now we go ahead and start out at ten eighths and we are going to subtract four eighths one two three four we end at six eighths Six eighths is my difference. The next one show show ten eighths minus four eighths on the area model. So we have an area model here. Everything is this uh, first hole is split into eighths because our denominator is eight. So split into eighths because our denominator is eight. I'm going to go ahead and shade in ten eighths. eight nine ten 
so I've shaded in 10 eighths. Um, now I'm going to subtract 4 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I am left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is going to be my numerator, and of course my denominator always stays the same because our whole is split into 8 pieces. And then finally, write the difference. So we've done that a few times. Our denominators stay the same. 10 minus 4 will give me 6. 6 eighths is my difference. And if we want to get this in the simplest form, um, what goes into the numerator and the denominator evenly? Uh, 2. So we divide each one by 2. And we will get 3 fourths. Question number three, what type of model do you like best for showing fraction, addition, and subtraction? Explain why. All right, so which one do I like best? I would definitely say the number line. The number line to me is the easiest. Of course, if I were gonna solve it on my own, I would definitely do it without a model and, and do it abstractly and, and with a number sentence like, like I did up here. But the number line to me is the easiest because you know, it's it shows how many jumps you're taking, um, and there's little error as long as you label it properly. There's little room for error. Um, when you do the area model, people, you when you're trying to draw these out, you tend to make mistakes on getting your holes to look exactly the same, especially when you do circles. If you go to do squares, like we've done down here, it's much easier, but even then, mistakes can be made. So if I were to choose anything, definitely number line as far as representationally, uh, but abstractly, definitely just the number sentence. And finally, compare subtracting 10 eighths minus 4 eighths to subtracting 10 minus 4. How are they alike and how are they different? All right, first off, how are they alike? They are alike because 10 eighths minus 4 eighths, you're essentially subtracting just your numerators, which is. 10 minus 4 to get 6 and then your denominators stay the same so that's how they're like how are they different so you can see 10 minus 4 deals with whole numbers and then we have fractions 10 eighths minus 4 eighths that's dealing with parts of a whole great job today everybody I appreciate everybody uh, uh, checking out the lessons let's uh, keep on going we have a total of three lessons left we're almost there I'm really proud of everybody, and we will talk with you all tomorrow. Take care.